Well, folks, uh, I am here back with uh, someone that has a lot of experience in the tech sector and a lot of experience in the leadership roles. Dan, why don't you introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about what you're doing now, and then we'll talk about the tech sector itself. Sure thing. My name is Dan Brake. I've been working in the tech sector for ooh, 25 plus years. And what I'm doing right now is I'm the CTO of PolyUnity, which is a uh, fantastic local startup um, focused on the dig digitization of, um, of healthcare. The energy is palpable as soon as you walk in through the front door in this place. You can really feel it almost, um, it's almost like before you get your coffee, you're already getting an energy jump when you come to the door and it really is like that. You speak to anyone in the office just walking around and people are working on cool things. We're, we're making a big impact on, on healthcare. Like we're doing so many interesting things and we're helping uh, helping physicians and frontline healthcare workers, um, you know, either provide a better service of care or have products that they wouldn't have. A, you know, I don't know. There's an altruistic nature to what we're doing, and it's really exciting to also leverage cutting edge technology to uh, to achieve some of the results that we want to get. Yeah, and it's so interesting because an idea can turn into so many different things. So. In my career, I've seen ideas turn into like the formation of a new company. Um, and here at PolyUnity, we can get an idea from a frontline healthcare worker, and that turns into like a physical product. And sometimes we, you know, we go from, hey, I've got a problem, into a physical product, or hey, check out this post-it note. Can you do something like that? And that turns into a product. So it's really, uh, it's really interesting and fascinating that we've gone, we've reached to the point in human history where we can go from an idea to physical product. And when I say physical product, I mean something that's actually usable in the marketplace, not a prototype, but actually a complete product, which is, uh, which is really cool. Dan, past chair of Tech NL, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about what it was like to be the leader of the tech sector in Newfoundland and Labrador. Yeah, wow. Um, I, I remember when I became the past chair and I was sitting next to the previous chair and uh, he turned to me and he said, um, don't F it up. The, uh, <laughs> the, uh, to be honest, the tech sector here in Newfoundland and Labrador has the potential to really transform um, the local economy. We've been a, like in, in, well, most of Canada, like we are an energy economy. And how can we change the dollar on this and make sure that we, you know, we have a sustainable future and a sustainable economy for generations to come? And I think that the tech sector, tech sector has an amazing uh, position and big part to play in, uh, in, in the legacy of, um, of our province. I think there's, you know, we've seen some really big exits like things that happened with Verifin. There were actually about five or six different things that happened around about the same time that were smaller, but still really, really impressive. And I think the, the, the leveling up that companies have done in, in like over the last decade has been really, really impressive. So to be the leader of that uh, and to be the head of the tech sector um, while I was there, and I'm still involved with the board, but to be a part of that and really changing um, you know, the direction of, of the sector and really changing the trajectory um, has been really, really exciting. I mean, if there's anything or anywhere where I wanted to volunteer, it was really to help drive the sector and help drive, you know, to make this a better place to do technology. And also, we don't have to do technology the, the way other people do it. Like, we can, you know, we can be a jurisdiction that can do things differently. We can be collaborative. We can support one another. And I really think it's been a, it's been a huge benefit to Newfoundland and Labrador um, and the Newfoundland and Labrador tech sector, like the amount of collaboration, the way people work together. It's a, it's, and also, I was excited by this like 10 years ago. I'm ex I was five years ago. Now it's even more exciting than it was then. It's, I, I don't know when the excitement stops, but I hope it never does. And uh, I can tell you, being in the room with you is like, I can feel the energy. Um, tell us a little bit about Innovation Week. And we're, in, we're gonna post this in advance of that. Um, you know, encourage people to come down. Uh, what, what does it mean to you? What is Innovation Week? Innovation Week is, um, is a fantastic week, first of all, because it transcends lots of different layers and things and challenges within the tech sector and things that people are thinking about. I mean, if you want to hear about innovation, well, guess what? The head of innovation for Mattel is coming to town to talk about that. There's an awesome panel on uh, people who are like raising financing. There's a day for students to come in and meet with different local tech companies and think about where their careers may be heading and you know how they can align with what's happening here in the sector. There's so many different things here happening for everyone. Um, I would 
put it this way, if I was a tech sector, a tech sector employee, someone with interest in the tech sector, or I'm working in a tech sector business here in Newfoundland and Labrador, or even a business that's thinking about technology, there's something there for everyone. I'd really, uh, I, I'd hate to miss it. Thank you.